Good evening. On behalf of Commander Reed and the Veterans of Foreign Wars post 1333, we invite you to this candidate's forum. In the 237 years of our nation's history, there have been few freedoms more important than the right to vote. And these freedoms, of course, were won by veterans from your families and families and generations before us. And therefore, it's only fitting that we meet here this evening in a former military post. Where you are sitting now was a platform, a room, where two companies of guardsmen trained for the First World War, Second World War, and Korea, right on this very floor. And today, of course, we have the privilege of sitting in their presence with their spirit for this meeting. And therefore, we... <laughs> now I ask you to please rise as Commander Reed leads us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Bill Madden, and I'm the moderator tonight's forum. The League of Women Voters is a nonpartisan political organization that encourages informed and active participation in government, works to increase understanding of major public policy issues, and influences public policy through education and advocacy. The League never endorses a candidate or a political party. I want to thank you for attending tonight's uh, important candidates forum. It may be the only time you will see and hear these candidates in one place prior to the elections on May 14. As you can see, we have 22 people who have stepped up to the plate and are willing to devote substantial time and energies to the office of city council person for the city. Because there are so many candidates this year, it's important that everyone remain as quiet as possible so that all can hear these candidates as they address the questions asked of them. Due to the time restraints, constraints, it may not be possible to ask all the questions that have been submitted. The questions asked will be representative and pertinent to the office being sought. The program tonight will be in three sections. The first section will be the candidates with 30 seconds each to introduce his or herself and tell you why they want to be elected. The sequence will be in alphabetical order. The second phase of the <coughs> tonight's perform, uh, program will be questions asked of each candidate. Questions have been written on cards, and you have all had somebody is picking up cards on each side of the auditorium here. And if you have a question you'd like to have asked, you can write it down. It's a possibility that we may not get to it. And there's also <coughs> some duplication of questions so we try to ferret those out and just ask the question once. Questions will be directed to each slate with one candidate making the response. The independent candidates will also have an opportunity to address the questions. Rebuttals will be given, uh, op an opportunity will be given to all the candidates to rebut if they feel so inclined. The third phase will be <clears throat> each candidate having two minutes to make their closing remarks. The sequence for that will be in reverse alphabetical order. We'll begin now with the opening introductory statements. The first candidate is Myra Campbell. Good Myra. evening and thank you for inviting us. Um, my name is Myra Campbell. I'm with One Asbury. And what I'd like to mention is I've lived in Asbury Park for over 30 years and I've been a community activist during that period of time. I uh, was one of the first members of the Urban Enterprise Zone here in Asbury Park. I served um, as a member and then president of the Neighborhood Block Watch in Asbury Park, also on the uh, commissioner in the Asbury Park Housing Authority. Uh, currently, I'm with the West Side Citizens United, and I might mention that last Friday in the morning, I helped plant trees on the east side of town <laughs> 
And then on the afternoon, I presented a pr proposal for a multifaceted park on the west side of town. Thank you. Next, we'll hear from Talisha Crank. Good evening, everyone. My name is Talisha Crank, and I'm running on the one Asbury ticket. I'm a longtime resident of Monmouth County. I reside in Asbury Park for the past, for almost five years now. I'm a single parent with two children. My son attends school at the high school. My daughter attends at Bradley Elementary, right here in our school district. I'm a proactive parent and proactive resident with my concerns for quality of life in our community. Sean Familiaro. Hi, my name is Shonda Familiaro. I'm a long, well, I've been born and raised in Asbury Park. My two kids go to the high school. I have a loving husband that I've been with for 20 years. And I'm running for city council because we need to unite the city because it's divided. Dorval Gillis. My name is Dorval Gillis. I'm 58 years old. I live in Asbury Park for 36 years. I'm a community activist for the Haitian, Hispanic, and Jamaican communities. I'm glad to be here. Thank you. Daniel Harris. Good evening. My name is Daniel Harris. I'm a resident of Asbury Park for over 40 years. Prior to that, I was a resident of Neptune and a graduate of Neptune High School in the class of 1970. I hold a bachelor's and associate of arts and MBA from Monmouth University. I also have a supervisor certificate in education from Rutgers University. Presently, I'm in my last year as an athletic director in Newark, New Jersey, at one of the highest performing schools in New Jersey and, in Newark, and definitely in Newark, New Jersey. I come to you asking for your vote because I believe that my management skills can dig us out of this hole that we're in. Thank you very much. Susan Henderson. Thank you. I'm Councilwoman Sue Henderson running with Forward Asbury Park. I've lived in Asbury Park for 20 years, educator for 34 years, 21 years, uh, school counselor at Ocean Township High School, founder of the Asbury Park Homeowners Association, served there for seven years as president. Before the council, I served on the Zoning Board and Safety Commission, took over on council after Jim Keedy resigned, now serving on Deal Lake Commission as vice chair, West Leet Lake Commission as a vice chair, Redevelopment Advisory Committee as co-chair. Thank you. Clevet Hill. Hi, my name is Clevet Hill. I've been living in Asbury Park for over 31 years. I hold a master's degree from Monmouth University. I have worked with residents here in Asbury over 13 years as a social worker on a micro level, and now I would like to work with our community on a macro level to help them expand and you know address their needs and concerns. Thank you. Gregory Hobson. Good evening. My name is Gregory Hobson. I'm the proud husband of Mrs. Ida Hobson. We have three children. I have six grandchildren, of which all go to school here in the Asbury Park School System. I have been a board member for six years, two-term board president, one-time vice president. I've chaired finance committee for three years and the personnel committee for three years. I'm running for a better quality of life and to bring down the crime rate in our lovely city. Thank you. Nora Hyland. Uh, good evening. My name is Nora Hyland. Thanks for all coming out tonight. I have lived in Asbury Park for 11 years. I live on 4th Avenue with my husband, who is a lifelong resident of Asbury Park, and my three children. I am a professor of education at Rutgers University. I've been there for 11 years as well. Um, I'm committed to issues of social justice and equity in my professional life and in my personal life and in my civic life. And that's why I'm running with the A-Team for City Council. Thank you. Rosetta Johnson. My name is Rosetta Johnson. I've been living in the city of Asbury Park for 53 years. I'm a, um, I have a master's degree in criminal justice. Um, this is my second run for city council. I'm a former city employee. I'm running to bring about change in Asbury Park. Thank you. James Keedy. Hello, my name is Jim Keedy, and I am running to be reelected to the Asbury Park City Council. Many of you know that I served on the council from 2005 until 2008. I was the diligent, loyal opposition to my former colleagues. The issues when I ran for office and when I served in office 
where crime, taxes, jobs, housing that's safe and affordable, and more recreation for our children. Here we are eight years later, and the same issues that voters are concerned about, crime, taxes, jobs, housing that's safe and affordable, recreation for our children. The time has come to put a team in office that can truly address these issues, and that's why I am running with the A-team, and we are asking for your vote on May 14th. Thank you. John Lafredo. Uh, John Lafredo, Deputy Mayor of City of Asbury Park. I have served three terms. I'm running for my fourth. I'm running with the Ford Asbury ticket. I was born and raised in this area. I have uh, owned a home here since 1985. I uh, started out as an activist. I'd like to think that I still am an activist. Being in office doesn't preclude you from being an activist for your community. When we took over in uh, uh, 2001, there were tumbleweeds going down our main street and in our downtown. You throw a bowling ball and not hit anybody. That has changed and it will continue to change. The city is getting better. Thank you very much. John Moore. Good evening and thank you. Uh, my name is John Moore, 1407 Fourth Avenue. Uh, my great grandfather moved to Asbury Park in 1888. I served 31 years with the city of Asbury Park and retired as deputy director of public maintenance. I was on the Board of Education for 12 years, four as president, two as vice president. I'm currently a trustee of the Asbury Park Historical Society, and I'm the vice chairperson of the Asbury Park Housing Authority, and I'm running on the one Asbury ticket. Thank you. Raymond Palmer. Good evening. My name is Ramon Palmer, and I am with the A-Team. I've lived in the city of Asbury Park for 45 years. I'm a graduate of Asbury Park High School, graduate of Seton Hall University, I returned to the city after my graduation. I'm a retired fireman here in the city of Asbury Park. I coached Pop Warner, Biddy Basketball. Also, I worked with kids with the Little League Baseball. I've done a lot of community work here in the city. I've been voted to the Asbury Park School Board twice. I've served as board president twice. And I'm running with the A-Team. Thank you. William Potter. Good evening. I'm Will Potter. I'm a uh, resident of the city for six years. I'm a single father. I have two teenage daughters. I'm an educator. I'm a licensed clinical social worker. I'm also the president of the Long Branch School Employees Association, where I represent 700 uh, people who work in the field of education. During this course of this campaign, <clears throat> I've heard a lot of the east side and west side. Well, I'm on one side, which is the city of Asbury Park, and that's why I'm running. Thank you. Amy Quinn. Hi, I just, my name is Amy Quinn. I wanted to thank the VFW for having us. I wanted to thank everybody for coming out. And I want to thank the candidates who showed up tonight. I'm an attorney. I'm also the vice chair of the Environment and Shade Tree Commission. I'm running on the one Asbury Park ticket because we personally, myself, and this ticket is about bringing back accessibility, transparency, and accountability to City Hall. Thank you. Kevin Saunders. Sanders, excuse me. <laughs> yes, my name is Kevin Sanders. I'm a fourth generation resident of Asbury Park. My father was a city worker for over 20 years. My grandfather was uh, on the police force for over 30 years. I was mayor for two terms when Asbury Park was considered blighted in 2001. I would like to continue the work that we started in 2001 and bring in Asbury Park back. Uh, there's plenty of things to be done, and I haven't heard anything different from what we've been doing. Dwayne Small. Peace and blessings to everyone, and thank you, VFW, for allowing us to uh, have this forum here. My name is Dwayne Small. I'm 44 years old. I'm a lifelong resident of the Asbury Park Neptune area. I'm a licensed contractor. <laughs> I am also the Democratic representative for the 3rd District in Asbury Park, and I also sit on a Charter Study Commission. The reason why I'm running for City Council in Asbury Park is because there is a divide in our city. We had six murders in the last seven months, and no one seems to be concerned about it. When you lose in the life of your youth in the community, you have a problem. Thank you. Harold Suggs. Good evening, my name is Harold Suss, and again, I want to thank everyone for coming out this evening. I'm a lifelong resident of Asbury Park, a former elected school board member, and a former appointed uh, member of the planning board. 
I'm running because I want to bring back a level of integrity back to City Hall and the manner in which the city is being run and its future is being defined. I also want to see a process implemented whereby individuals in the city will have an opportunity to have greater access to their, to their elected officials as well as address the high crime rate in this Asbury Park and look at the very low rate of opportunities for jobs here in the town. Randy Thompson. Hello, everyone. My name is Randy Thompson. I'm a 12-year resident of the city. I live here with my mother and my daughter, Sophia, who's nine and a half years old, and she's a cute little girl running around in a pink jacket out there. I'm an independent candidate, and I'm asking for your vote because I want a safe and healthy environment for myself to live in and for my daughter to grow up in. And I know that Asbury Park can be that, and I want to see this community reach its full potential, which it has been frustrated as it hasn't been able to reach that for such a long time. Thank you. Stephen Williams. Good evening. I'm Stephen Williams, 405 Lincoln Street. Lived in Asbury my whole life. I'm a graduate of Delaware State University, undergrad and, and master's to, uh, level. I'm a member of Cap Alpha Psi Fraternity Incorporated. I'm also a youth <coughs> activist and an activist for my community. Like several of the uh, candidates up here, I'm more than a lifelong resident. I was born and raised here in Asbury. I want to see change come about in the crime, in the crime rates. I want to see change come about in some of, the, some of the tax issues that we face. And I also want to see more of a combined effort to make Asbury one city as opposed to the east side and west side. Thank you. Joe Werner. Good evening. My name is Joe Werner. I'm running on the one Asbury ticket. And I came to Asbury Park, uh, and the first thing I did was get involved with the youth in the city. And through that involvement, I've become part of a lot of different organizations in town and the, the Bradley Cove issue fell into my lap and uh, I hope to tell the story a little bit tonight of what that issue has opened my eyes to in the city um, which I feel is to a certain degree a failure of vision and a failure of leadership. Um, I live on 3rd Avenue and I'm a teacher in Neptune and I just wanted to say one minute to answer questions makes the council meeting look like a three minutes is very generous. Thank so you. Thank tonight. you, uh, candidates. You did a good job staying in your 30 seconds. Uh, 